Today I'm putting 16 legendary coaches into a do or die tournament using teams made up of the greatest players they ever coached. Wow, this is actually a pretty simple video to explain, like that was it. As part of last year's NBA 75 celebration, this list of the top 15 coaches in NBA history was released. I simply used that list of 15 coaches, plus I added Mike D'Antoni to make an even 16. Yes, I know, in this case, Mike D'Antoni's like the clown in the army lineup meme, but just wait till you see his team, okay? Trust me. I simulated one full regular season with our our 16 coach teams and use the standings as seating for our bracket. And I want to give a quick shout out to Planless Edits. This dude dropped a YouTube comment, told me to make this exact video, told me exactly how to make it. And uh, I appreciate you doing half my job. And with all that out of the way, here is our full bracket, just 16 teams. So this is going to go quick, fast and furious style. Pat Riley, the one seed on the left, Red Holtzman on the right. We'll get to it all. Let's go. Matchup number one, Pat Riley versus Steve Kerr. Pat Riley still remains the president, aka godfather of the Miami Heat. But during his coaching career, he headed up the Showtime Lakers, the early 90s Knicks, as well two separate eras of the Heat. He's a five-time champ as a coach too. It's not hard to see why Steve Kerr is the heavy underdog in this matchup as he's only got the Steph Curry era Warriors to pull for his roster. It's not horrible, but it's probably not deep enough. Then again, it wouldn't be the first or last time ever that I'd be very wrong when predicting a matchup as Steve Kerr's Warriors are within a shot. Yes, they're within one shot and Steph Curry's got it. Of course, the Warriors winning this game would be crazy. Chaos KD in transition. No way. Magic's got a wild mismatch on Steph. He's gonna take advantage. Yeah, that was far too easy. And this is a shot making league, baby. It's what it's all about. KD Steph. Yeah, they're running that same set to, set to Steph Curry. KD's late on the pass though. I think Steph would have been open. He's gonna use a screen from Demarcus. Boogie for the win. Oh, <laughs> He had a good look at it too. That back and forth in the clutch carried over into OT. We had a one point game. Pat Riley's Lakers with the rock though. They've got a chance. Magic, just go up with this, my guy. Do a layup over Steph. Yeah. D-Wade just put home a little shot put for the Showtime Lakers. Katie misses. No, I think that's it. Alas, we don't start the video with a massive upset, but Steve Kerr's Warriors did give Pat Riley's Lakers a run for their money. We'll move to matchup number two, Mike D'Antoni versus Lenny Wilkins. I joked about D'Antoni earlier, but his team simulated very well and it's not a surprise. I mean, he coached the Steve Nash Suns, the Mellow Knicks, Kobe during his epic 2013 season, and of course, prime James Harden. Lenny Wilkins, meanwhile, coached for a long time, winning a championship with the Sonics in the 70s. He led the Cavaliers franchise through some successful playoff years. He coached Atlanta for a good minute and got a couple seasons with prime Vince in Toronto. And you know what? All this talk about legendary coaches, it's uh, actually got me motivated to do some coaching of my own, all right? So just hold on one sec. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, you know, I was born to coach, all right? Winnie, you are a good dog, but we can always do better. Winnie, sit. Good dog. Down. Da oh, good dog. This is the important one. Okay, Winnie. Nikola Jokic, 25.6 points per game. Higher or lower? Winnie, what? No, stop it. You, you need some work. Unfortunately, Winnie is just a very good dog and not an underdog, as in fantasy, the sponsor of today's video. The NBA season is shockingly right around the corner. So in addition to all their NFL content, underdog has got us with hoops content too. Let me start by pointing out their countless best ball drafts you can enter, including the double dribble tournament with up to $500,000 in prizes. If you don't know what best ball is, the simplest explanation I can give is that it's a fantasy league that you only have to draft. You don't have to manage it all season, just draft away and hopefully win. They've also got preseason NBA pick'em action as well season long pick'em that you can currently enter. If you feel strongly about the aforementioned Nikola Jokic, jump in with a prediction on either his points, rebounds, or assists. Pair with a couple other NBA stars, say Jason Tatum and Steph Curry and you put together a nice little pick'em entry, you can even ensure that bad boy for extra safety. Underdog is simply the best place to vibe out and enhance your sports watching experience. And if you use my code JCAN at sign up, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $500. Yeah. Additionally, ahead of the week six Thursday night football game, new customers get a sick Patrick Mahomes pick'em special. Once again, that's code JCAN at Underdog Fantasy. Sign up now, link down below. Okay, uh, Mike D'Antoni, you never got it done in the playoffs. Don't choke, man. I have to. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Justifying me, including him and his team in the video. Mike D'Antoni will get a round one victory. That's a dub. With Kobe carrying, by the way, 35 points in just 29 minutes. Yeah. Matchup number three, Jack Ramsey versus Jerry Sloan. Ramsey is most well known for leading Bill Walton and the Blazers to a chip in 1977, but he also guided Bob McAdoo to an MVP with the Buffalo Braves, coached a young Clyde Drexler, and finished his career with Reggie Miller in Indiana. Jerry Sloan, meanwhile, well, he's 
basically got the all-time Jazz roster led by Stockton and Malone and OG Bull artist Gilmore should be a big help as well. Should be a big help was the key term. Uh, this wasn't a blowout, but another pretty predictable result. Yeah, Jerry Sloan's Jazz just weren't deep and good enough. Bill Walton with 37 and four. Yeah, that's finals MVP, Bill Walton. Matchup number four, Don Nelson versus Greg Popovich. Somehow in his 30 plus year coaching career, Don Nelson never won a ring despite coaching prime Dirk Nowitzki, prime Pat Ewing, the run TMC Warriors, and plenty more Hall of Fame talent. Greg Popovich, like Jerry Sloan moments ago, basically has the all-time Spurs roster, which is solid, but like Steve Kerr from even earlier, just isn't as deep a roster as some of the others will see. Oh my word, why? Why would I ever even insinuate a slight shred of doubt in Greg Popovich? His Spurs are up so big right now. And yeah, um, Greg Popovich and his Spurs, they never gave up this uh, big lead, 20 plus points. Don Nelson never won a ring. I'm kind of choking in this video. What does that mean? Okay, okay, Don Nelson, legendary coach, obviously, but it's kind of ironic he would come up short despite being the favorite in this video. I'm just saying. Greg Popovich and Jack Ramsey in the second round will be good, as will Pat Riley, Mike D'Antoni, a couple offensive gurus. And of course, just four teams now remain on the left side of our bracket, but let's get to the right with, uh, yeah, a couple heavy hitters coming up. Beginning with matchup number five, Red Holtzman versus Red Auerbach. Holtzman began his career coaching Bob Pettit and Cliff Hagen in St. Louis for a couple seasons before helming the Knicks for the entire decade of the 70s, including a couple championships and many Hall of Famers. Red Auerbach is arguably the most legendary coach ever, but unfortunately his roster is super shallow. He did most of his winning with the same crew of six or seven Hall of Famers. What do you want from me? Oh, I know what Celtics fans wanted from me, and that was a close matchup. Well, we've got it. Bill Sharman, by the way, wide open for three. He could have tied this game up. I used all-time versions of most of these players, so the Celtics should be looking for a three here. Like, they've got some players with three-point tendencies. John, what was that, John Havlicek? I don't know, but it worked. A bucket here from uh, Red Holtzman's Knicks might just put this thing away. It's a St. Louis Hawk cliffhanging with a terrible shot. We see that animation way too much. Do the Celtics go for a three or do they go for the tie? It's going to be Bill Sharman inside tying this game up. They're going to run a three-point set here and they're going to get an offensive foul call. Bob Pettit selling. Wow, Red Auerbach Celtics now have a chance to win it. They don't need a three here. John Havlicek up top. He just hit a wild shot moments ago. That's a clean look from the mid-range. He misses. Bill Russell on the putback. Oh my word. I don't think they're not even reviewing it. That seems so close. I guess it wasn't that close, but they could have still reviewed it. We don't watch OT around here unless it remains clutch. Okay, three-point game. We're on track to once again have a one seed survive in OT unless Red Auerbach Celtics. That's a pretty good look for Bob Cousy. He missed it and Tom Heinsohn misses the board. The script was literally identical to our other one versus eight matchup. Red Holtzman's Knicks shot way more free throws. That was the difference. Matchup number six, Eric Spolstra versus Doc Rivers. A couple modern day teams, Spolstra's basically got the LeBron led big three heat as well the current edition of the squad led by Jimmy Buckets. While Doc Rivers, yeah, we know about the star power he's coached. Prime Tracy McGrady, the big four Boston Celtics, the Lob City Clippers, the Kawhi Clippers, and finally the Embiid Sixers. Wow. Somehow Doc Rivers team is the underdog too. All Eric Spolstra has to do is tell Doc it's a 3-1 series though. That's the key to success. Oh my word. I was joking. I was joking, Doc. It's not a 3 one series doc you are up like 2-0 it's all good oh my oh my gosh he fumbled he fumbled the bag what lebron just posted a stat line of six points 10 rebounds 15 assists the point god all right i guess it wasn't a massive choke because doc rivers team was the five seed technically the underdog but with this roster they weren't no underdog we all know the truth that was a choke matchup number seven casey jones versus larry brown casey jones had the pleasure of guiding the legendary larry bird celtics the young peyton kemp duo in Seattle, as well the Hall of Fame-laden Washington Bullets for a couple seasons. Larry Bird coached a million years and a million different franchises. The Iverson Sixers, the David Robinson Spurs, the Reggie Miller Pacers, the Championship 04 Pistons, and still much more. Uh-oh, Casey Jones and the Celtics. We might have another upset brewing. They are up in this game, but only one. Allen Iverson with the rock for Larry Brown's Sixers and taking a bad shot. Okay. Larry Bird of the Celtics. A lot of uh, diversity in this lineup. I like it. Like it. 
Casey Jones. Wow, was unsailed with the flush. I'm kind of doubtful. Uh, this is really like Larry Brown's 0-1 Sixers, the way AI is taking every nope. shot in the clutch and missing. That was ugly. I can't lie. No upset here as Casey Jones favored Celtics do advance. And matchup eight, Phil Jackson versus Chuck Daly. No surprises here with the Zen Master. He's got the MJ Bulls, the Shaq Kobe Lakers, a pair of dynasties. Uh, yeah, let's just keep it moving. Our last coach to introduce Chuck Daly, the bench boss behind the championship 80s Pistons as well the early 90s Nets and he had a cup of coffee with the Penny Hardaway Magic. You know the 80s Pistons with Chuck Daly did own MJ and the Bulls poverty franchise for a minute like it's just facts I'm just saying. Thankfully it appears a uh, prime Michael Jordan with Phil Jackson gonna get their revenge there yeah that's a big 20 point dub. MJ with a trip dub it also helps that he's got 33 from Shaq a solid Kobe performance yeah and on the right side of our bracket Phil Jackson Casey Jones a 2-3 C advance as does red holtzman eric spolster wait a minute oh we've got the old one two three four seeds advancing on the right hand side of the bracket i guess the 2k sim knows what they're doing just a bit let's see if that trend continues as we move to the elite eight we've got pat riley and his showtime lakers on one side mike d'antoni and his seven seconds or less sons on the other this is going to be an offensive heavyweight battle mike d'antoni's sons with kobe and others were able to score enough to keep up with the lakers but the defense though ah man Man, Mike D'Antoni, his teams just never with the defense, dog. You surrendered 143 points. That is very accurate. Of all the people to lead the way for the Showtime Lakers, it's Patrick Ewing with 27 points. He eight. We move along to Jack Ramsey. He's a three seed versus Greg Popovich, a seven seed. Pop starting five looks elite. They aren't very deep, but maybe that won't matter. Hmm, well, uh, would you look at that? See, I was not wrong earlier in the video when I doubted Greg Popovich's spurs. I, I was just a bit early. All right, never wrong, just early. Yeah, they just got dusted by like four. Clyde Drexler, 27 and 12. Monster double-double. Bob McAdoo, too. They could be a dynamic duo disaster for other teams. We move to the right side of our bracket. The one seed Red Holtzman versus the four seed Eric Spolstra. Really, Eric Spolstra's Heat don't have a better point card than Goron Dry. I guess LeBron plays point. That's why he had 15 assists last game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I want clutch finishes in this video. I kept waiting for this game to get close but Eric Spolstra's heat just dominated wire to wire. Fair enough. Wow, and right on cue, Goran Dragic, who is in the starting lineup playing a lot of minutes. He was the leading scorer. LeBron, another double-digit assist game. Same as Dwayne Wade. Okay. Our final Elite Eight matchup. What a freaking banger. Phil Jackson versus Casey Jones. The bones of the Shaq Kobe plus MJ Dynasty against the Celtics Bird era. So many other talented players here too. What am I? Uh, man. Like, really? With these two teams, we, we can't get, like, a great game? It's got to be a 50-point blowout? Really, 2K. MJ, 32 and 6. Kobe, 27 and 14. Shaq, Pippen. Yeah, this team is simply a buzzsaw. And in reverse order of what we just saw, Phil Jackson, the Zen Master, advances. Goran Dragic carrying Eric Spolstra to a Final Four. Jack Ramsey dusted that overrated fraud, Greg Popovich. Well, Pat Riley, yeah, he was the one seed for a reason, I guess. Altogether, we've got a Final Four with a 1, 2, 3, 4 seed. That's kind kind of fun. You know, symmetrical how that happened. I have no idea. Let's start with Pat Riley, Jack Ramsey. Pat Riley's team simulated so well in the regular season sim makes sense. D-Wade, Magic, Kareem, James Worth. I mean, they are top heavy with big men. I'll say that, but having a bunch of Hall of Fame centers, uh, not really a problem. Overall, I would say that Pat Riley team on paper, much better than this Jack Ramsey team who also have two Hall of Fame uh, centers, but maybe it's a bit more balanced, you know, position wise. I don't know, Jack Ramsey. I'm trying to help you out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, maybe Jack Ramsey doesn't need help. That was a flood to start the fourth quarter. Yo, ain't no way. Pat Riley's boys just folded. What? I wanted to live commentate over the Simcast to make sure I didn't... I thought we'd get a clutch finish, but again, Clyde and Bob McAdoo, just an amazing duo. Nobody eclipsed 20 points for Pat Riley's Lakers. That's so tough. Wow, and Jack Ramsey's Blazers shot 57% from the field. Yeah, that'll do it. But now it is time. Time, ladies and gentlemen, the second half of our final four. I'm honestly so glad the tournament led to this point. We've got the two seed from the right side of our bracket, Phil Jackson, 99 MJ, 98 Kobe and Shaq. We've got Scottie Pippen. We've got Dennis Rodman. This team is probably deep enough with that top end. All those legends are taking on Eric Spolstra squad led by LeBron James, 99 overall. We've got Prime D Wade in here, Jimmy 
Butler. Yeah, 93 over. Wow, Eric Spolstra's squad honestly doesn't look that good on paper, but can LeBron do it? I'd be lying to you all if I didn't think a blowout was in the cards here in favor of Phil Jackson's squad. Okay, oh, Eric Spolstra had a lead early. At least, you know, just bring me a clutch finish here. Bring me a clutch finish. Oh my gosh, Eric Spolstra, th th this is a clutch finish. It could go either way. I can't lie, we have had a dearth of epic moments, clutch finishes in this video, but maybe, just maybe, we were saving things up for right here. Kobe shooting over LeBron in the clutch and missing. Okay. Once again, after exploring the rosters, I don't really know how Eric Spolster's seat are here, but LeBron drops a dime to Bam. Let me stop questioning things. I'm also casually choosing to ignore that, uh, yeah, no Michael Jordan on the court. Why is Andrew Bynum, Pau Gasol at the... Kobe is trying to one man team. What is Kobe doing? Okay, okay, let me chill. Let me chill. Kobe, keep. Oh my gosh. Co Phil, can you rein in Kobe, my guy? No shot. I'm watching Kobe Bryant shoot Phil Jackson's team out of here with MJ on the bench. LeBron going to work. Yo, LeBron just babied Ron Harper. That is wild. Trust me, it frustrates me to no end when coaches do dumb things during the simulation. Like, why was MJ on the bench? He's not fouled out. I have foul outs turned off. Off. Anyways, he gets a bucket, of course. It's a bit anticlimactic, but if Eric Spolstra's Heat simply make their free throws, this game's over? And now Phil Jackson has subbed out Kobe. I mean, he went like 0 for 4 in the clutch here in like a 30-second stretch. But how do you not have Kobe out? Why are you going to Shaq in the... Dude, oh my goodness, the hell? What that? Wow. What did I just see? It's ironic that in this video, we'd have an insane coaching disaster class, but I can't lie, Phil Jackson. That's just what we saw. To not have Michael Jordan out there in the clutch, to let Kobe take some truly terrible shots, then to try and work the ball into Shaq in the post down five? Credit to Eric Spolster's heat though. LeBron played well. Goran Dragic continues to ball as an 85 overall. I don't really get it. I know Jack Ramsey was a three seed, Eric Spolster a four seed, but especially based on the teams they've beaten. I'm considering these two teams underdogs meeting in our championship matchup. It do not get better than this. I will continue to doubt Eric Spolstra's Lynn Sanity run to the championship matchup with an 85 overall point guard. Can Jack Ramsey and his blazer led squad put an end to this madness? Ah, yes, they can. Well, potentially it's a tie game. 30 seconds left. I definitely let the sim go on too long. They've got the possession. They've got the upper hand. They can go up by two, maybe three. Dwayne Wade working on Clyde Drexler, a Hall of Fame battle. Dwayne Wade fumbles the rock. Literally, LeBron, get back. He's, <laughs> he doesn't chase down Billy Cunningham. Yo. Oh my gosh. Why did LeFraud not chase? He didn't even jump. Billy Cunningham with an old white man layup. LeBron's going to handle rock. He's going for the tie. Pump fake, pump fake. Puts it up and puts it in. Yo. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. I kind of saw that coming. LeBron's going to do that, baby. That finish to regulation was absolutely nutty. Flash forward the heat. Eric Spolstra back up one in OT. Two minutes left. They're going to go to Dwayne Wade down low. He's got position on Clyde. Makes a leaning layup. I can't even lie. I don't think I've seen a missed, an empty possession. Well, I guess Dwayne Wade turned it over earlier. These offenses are cooking in the clutch. This is wild. First team to get a defensive stop in the clutch probably wins this game. Wow. Blazers back up. Oh my gosh. These are just basic pick and roll. I'm actually in shock at this. LeBron's going to run another with Bam. Oh, he's open, but why is he fading? LeBron, if you would have set your feet, you might have hit that, brother. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? The, the Heat are fouling. The Heat are fouling. Okay, yeah. Eight second differential. Nah, nah, eight second differential shot in game clock. You don't need to foul. Eric Spolstra elects to foul way too soon. Burns his team's final timeout. I mean, I guess we just got to trust him at this point. He has earned that trust. A couple championships. He's into the final of this tournament game. LeBron could have used the and one there. Okay, LeBron hit a pair of free throws the heat foul the blazers hit a pair of free throws we might be going back and forth for a while unless lebron could have kicked that out for three he misses billy cunningham makes not one okay he misses the second the, there's like a tiny crack open nah it's over it's over now you kick it to d wade for a three he misses anyways it does not matter jack ramsey led by the portland trail blazers is gonna win our video 16 legendary coaches up terry porter carried with 35 and 12 bob mcadoo clyde drexler in the final continue to be a dominant duo for jack ramsey 
Ramsey. And despite facing some seriously superior squads, Jack Ramsey, a pioneer of this legendary coaching game, does take home our championship trophy in this video. I honestly didn't know what to think going into this video. So many legendary coaches, players involved, different mixtures on different teams. Uh, I did not think Jack Ramsey would be our winner, but here we are, baby. Let me know what you thought of this one.